Hey everybody, yes, South Carolina earthquake unconfirmed again. Not only was it an earthquake, but there were also three unconfirmed earthquakes in South Carolina. Places like Orangeburg, Elgin, South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, received earthquakes in South Carolina recently. There were several other East Coast earthquakes considered unconfirmed earthquakes as well. We're gonna check it out. Let's do this. Hi everyone, there was three unconfirmed earthquakes in South Carolina just hours ago. I wanna show you those earthquakes, but I also would like to remind you, there is a video that's in a playlist. It says South Carolina and North Carolina earthquakes. And this one is about unconfirmed earthquakes. Make sure you look at that previous video. I'll make sure I have the link in the description for you. There are statistics in that video that are alarming, <laughs> well they were to me, but it was information that some people had requested on the channel several months ago. But let's get into tonight about the three unconfirmed earthquakes that happened in South Carolina. Very interesting, there are actually four unconfirmed earthquakes. There's only three on the map, as you'll see in the video, but I wanted to insert this clip so to let you know that there actually were four unconfirmed earthquakes in South Carolina. Not only that, you'll notice that the actual place where they occurred is a little different on the map, but that's okay. We can get past that. We can get the general idea. But yes, there were four unconfirmed earthquakes for South Carolina. Let's look into this. Okay, we had an earthquake an Elgin, South Carolina earthquake that was right outside of Pontiac. And we could tell it was in Elgin, South Carolina because of the comments and actually the distance that the people were from it. Now there was an unconfirmed earthquake. They state that it was near Columbia, South Carolina, 3.2, 12 hours ago. However, we'll check the report that has 13 users that stated that they felt this particular earthquake. And if you look, the very first person is 1.9 kilometers from Elgin, South Carolina. Now what they stated was it was stronger than the previous quake 38 minutes ago. So the, yes, it was actually more than likely closer to Elgin, South Carolina. Love off, South Carolina actually felt this earthquake and they were hanging out at the office, felt a bump, experienced rattling and vibration. And it was what we can see here, third one this morning, this Elgin, South Carolina earthquake was felt there. And also you hear, see in Woodfield, South Carolina, they also felt it as well. Felt more like some violently slamming, felt more like some violently slamming the front door rather than a rumbling quake. So this one was a lot stronger than the previous earthquakes that were felt during that time frame. Now there were 13 users that actually felt this particular earthquake. Now not too far from the, the Elgin, South Carolina earthquake, which was an unconfirmed earthquake, was a 3.8 unconfirmed earthquake, and they considered a minor earthquake, and there were 14 users that actually felt this particular earthquake, unconfirmed earthquake. I need to continue to say that because it's not an earthquake. Elgin was one of the first places that reported that was closer to the epicenter, which was 7.9 kilometers, very light shaking, but it is it was enough to be detected and felt, and people felt rolling and vibrations. These were the different things that people said can't choose anything stronger than light shaking. So basically, this one here was a light shaking. The next unconfirmed earthquake that we have was a little bit further away, and it's right here. Not too far from Red Hill, South Carolina, or either Longtown, South, South Carolina, but we'll see what it says. Orangeburg, South Carolina, it says it's near there. 
and this happened 13 hours ago it was a 3.8 24 users felt this unconfirmed earthquake in south carolina and we'll take a look and see exactly if we can get this to scroll down it's updating more earthquakes are coming in and once again elgin it was 31.3 kilometers away from elgin south carolina this person was sitting at a desk in the kitchen heard rumbling noise and mild vibration felt like felt like the house lifted and made my sleeping baby's toys rattle so this one was felt pretty much uh stronger uh, uh just as strong probably as the other one it says shook just a bit and then a boom so this one here heard booms in this particular one and vibrating with a sudden bang and someone said a loud explosion sound and vibrate so we really don't know what was going on with that one this one had a lot more verbiage uh, related to that than the other ones now there were some other unconfirmed earthquakes of course there were the south carolina unconfirmed earthquakes however there were additional ones that were up on the east coast also in florida there was one here near fredericksburg Virginia, there was a 3.0 about 19 hours ago. There was also another one in New Jersey, Norwell, Pennsylvania, um, earthquake that was actually unconfirmed earthquake for Pennsylvania, which was a 3.4 four days ago. So this is something that has been happening for the last few days. In addition to that, we had a 3.0 unconfirmed earthquake in Tom's River, New Jersey. It says near it. It doesn't necessarily mean actually in there. And there was also one in Ottawa, Canada, a 3.4 unconfirmed earthquake was clocked there. This one here was an actual earthquake, which was a 3.0 that just happened yesterday. And the very last one that we know that happened was an unconfirmed earthquake for Florida, which happened six days ago near Tampa, Florida, 3.8 magnitude earthquake. Well, that sums up everything as far as the unconfirmed earthquakes that were on the East Coast. Primarily, we focus on North Carolina and South Carolina earthquakes because they have had so many unconfirmed earthquakes, more than anyone it seems. Don't forget, there is another video that is that addresses the South Carolina and North Carolina unconfirmed earthquakes, and it also gives you the statistics on how many took place for a full year of 2021 and also for the first eight months, really seven and a half months for 2022. Like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next video. Ciao.